Now let's do questions from random posts at ngayon ay age problem tayo. Ito ay post ni Sir Sidney O. Villaflor Jr. At ito na ay nakapost sa Civil Service Exam 2020 uh, community. Isa din sa grupong lagi kong tinatambayan. The question is, five years ago, Erika's age was half of the age she will be in eight years. How old is she now? Is she 16, 17, 18, or 19? If you haven't answered this yet, try to answer this first before you will see our solution. Uh, interesado kong gawan ito ng tutorial video kasi nabasa ko sa mga comment section na may kulang daw sa given. Kompleto po ang given. Ang problema natin kung paano siya gawan ng equation. As incompleto, napakalinaw po ng given. Ganito po ang paggawa ng equation. I-equate natin yan. Five years ago. So first, let n be that edad na i-add natin. Okay? Or minusa natin. Bali, let n, sulat natin, let n be her present age. Okay? Present age. Five years ago, okay, five years ago, n minus five. Five years ago. Kasi present age man si, te, si n natin. Erika's age, okay, five years ago, n minus five. Erika's age was half of the age she will be in eight years. Ang was equals yan siya. So, n minus 5 is equals to half of the age she will be in 8 years. Half of the age she will be in 8 years. That means n plus 8. Ulitin ko. Half of the age she will be in 8 years. So, half of n plus 8. Yan na yung equation dito sa given na, na problem na to, na age problem. Ito na yung equation. Isa pa. Isa pa ha? Para mas gets nyo. Delete natin yan. Delete, delete. So, ang sabi ko, let n be the present age. Five years ago, so n minus five. Kasi present age niya yung N. Five years ago, yung five years ago ba, kung sa Tagalog pa noong five years na nakalipas na limang taon, yun. So, yung edad mo ngayon, minus five. Ito yon Was half of the age you will be. Bali, yung edad mo five years ago ay equal sa, okay, sa, Half of the age she will be in 8 years. She will be in 8 years. That means yung present age niya plus 8. I-divide mo sa 2. Kasi half man. Okay? Sana naintindihan na yon. Okay? Delete na natin ito. Sulat na lang natin. Uulitin na lang natin. So, n minus 5 is equals to n plus 8. Half nyan ay equal sa edad niya 5 years ago. Yan na yung equation natin. Kunin natin ang value na ng n para makuha natin yung present age niya. Ngayon, since itong si 2 pang divide sa n plus 8, i-transfer natin sa kabila maging multiplication niya, maging multiplication na siya. So that is 2 times n minus 5 Equals n plus 8. I-multiply mo na natin to. This is 2n. This one is negative 10. Equals n plus 8. Ipagsama ang mga like terms. So this is 2n. Since si n pang add sa 8, pang minus na siya dito. Transpose ba? So nandito si 8. Since itong si minus 10, pang minus siya sa 2n, Kapag i-transfer or i-transpose mo sa kabila, maging plus 10. 
dalawang n kuna ng isang n, 2n minus n, that is 1n or n na lang. Okay, 8 plus 10, and that is 18. So, n is equals to 18. Yan na yung sagot natin. Letter C, 18. Ang n, yan yung present age. 18 ng sagot dito. 18 years old, si Erica. Let's double check. 18 minus 5, and that is... 13. So, she was 13 years old 5 years ago. Ngayon, itong isa. 18 plus 8 divided by 2. Okay? So, 18 plus 8 and that is 26. 26 divided by 2 and that is 13. So, therefore, ang 18 na, sag na sagot ay tama. For any questions, you may Comment down below or pwede kayong pumunta dito sa FB group natin, Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Pwede, yung, pwede kayong mag-post ng question dito. Marami tayong mga members na haping sagutan yung mga tanong nyo. Thank you.